and if it's going to stop hosting the stream I am hosting okay I can hear myself I'll be right back Okay, I'm here. Let me get situated. Shut my phone up. Turn some lights on. Hello. Welcome back. Um, what have I done since we worked on this yesterday? I painted a little more off stream. I touched up parts of this and I also painted the, the card stock that went in there. What is stuck to the back? There we go. And I painted the back of it up here. And I also touched up some of these like wrong parts. So that looks better. And I did a little on this one, too. It's not great. Hi, Lily. But it'll do. So I did that. Move this out of the way. Move the painting pad out of the way. Okie doke. So... Front side glue is shown. Put that on. It doesn't even show the part where you put the little scrolly thing in there. It just has paint the cardstock, glue the two edges on the front front side, cut the transparent part, and glue that in here. And it doesn't mention it, but you have to glue in that scrolly part too. So let's do that now. Put this down. There are very many little thin pieces of plastic from me doing this yesterday. So there's a, a point in the middle and that's the bottom. It looks like. Where is my... Let me get the thin spouted glue and see if it, it'll work. So I don't make a huge gluey mess. Seems like there's not as much light, but I guess it's just me. Oh, come on. Oh, does not want to shove down in there today. Where is my... This is my paper clip. Thin paper clip. What's up? She's back there talking. I should get my camera, the one that looks at me, in a position where you can see the cats. Okay, now let's see if that works. It's 
making snotty noises but it's still not coming out come on really doesn't want to And this is swapped out. I switched the nozzle. Part of the cardboard is coming up. That's not good. Huh. Like it's splitting apart. I don't know if I can get glue in there. Okay. Don't want to spend the rest of the stream time trying to <clears throat> get glue to come out of this bottle. Okay. I give up. Let's. Let's swap this glue tip back out. With the old one first. And then I'm going to pour some of the new glue into one of the bottles with the small tip. The, the top of it is different, so it's not like I can just put the tip on there. Okay, I'll just put a little bit. Let's try again. Hmm. I still can't get it to come out. so it's not like it's not coming through at all. Alright, let's do it. Come on, glue. I need to glue this little part that's breaking apart though. It's like layering, separating the layers.
It was coming out for a minute there. There it goes again. I'm either going to get arthritis early or I'm going to have really strong hands, one or the other. Or a little of both. Come on. The rest of it's going to dry by the time I get that on there. I just, this is just going to make such a huge mess. Because the tip is so big. Mm, I don't have a choice. Oh, jeez. Here it comes. See if I can get small amounts out and then brush it around. And that goes in this opening here. Oof. Messy. Okay, so that's in there. And then the next step was to put the plastic on the light blue, which I did. And now A6, which I believe is one of these gray plastic pieces, paste on both sides. So this is going to be like a the door handle is going to go on there. But it says to paste it on both sides. Glue all over my fingers. I guess I fixed the sound thing from yesterday. It didn't pop that up again. So feel free to use the sound messages again as you want in the chat. Okay. I need to put the lid back on the other clue bottle that's not working. Line these up. It's sticking to my finger. There it goes. Okay. Hey, Merrick, what's up? Hi, buddy. Okay, so that's on there. Put this back on here. Cut the champagne wire as shown, 60 millimeters. Hey buddy, what are you doing? 
He's under the table. I think Liara found a bug under there, and so they're all interested in what's under the table now. Wire cutters. Okay, there's about 60. So this says, I'm going to make two of these. It's two by around four by 18 by four by two, two of them. Get some pliers, and I guess I should cut this in half. side they're gonna go on those plastic pieces so I want to get them That's close. That's sort of what they were wanting. Okay, so two, and this kind of goes like that, and this other side also gets two, and this kind of goes like that. And are they the same? No, they're not the same. That's close. That's pretty close to the same. Front side, back side. Also on the front side goes this little piece of paper. Can I tell which way? So they're showing it done with this side up this narrow part, but that's actually the bottom of it. And they're showing this like that, with the dark, all this dark parts of the, whatever this illustration is. I can't tell what this is. Yeah, see so, what I mean? It's like, it doesn't look like words. I can't tell what that is. It's cool looking. Okay. Get a little glue on there. And they have it. Oh crap, I already screwed up. No, I didn't. Wait, is it 
Mm. Yes, I did. <laughs> this is supposed to be on this side. Okay, so let me put this here. And then I guess I have to try to peel these back off. Boo. See if I can get that glue off before it dries completely. Okay. Oh, I'm going to pop this plastic off of here. What a mess. Oh, I've done it. Yeah, it's it's popping off on the edges. If you had a, um, like one of those rubber cement balls, I think that that might work on this glue before it's completely dry. Maybe even after it's partially dry, at least on some surfaces. glue it back up on the edges. Okay. So don't be like me. Make sure you have it where the, the plastic is down and then it goes on this side. Now let's see if I can get any glue in this crack. See, this would be a great use of a very thin glue nozzle. Too bad mine isn't working. Okay. Like that. And now the handles. Doesn't want to stay up. Have to sit here and hold it. Oh, and knock it over. This would also be a really good use of my um, very dry bottle of glue, which is in the narrow nozzle bottle. Okay, let's set these tip down again and I can wrestle with them again later. Can I set something there to keep it from falling over? No.
So, while we're waiting, I could technically do these streams on the weekend if anybody is interested. I am almost done, so, I mean, we'll see. But, um, I don't need to take the laptop in the other room anymore. The laptop can just stay right here and be my streaming machine, so it wouldn't be a pain to stream on the weekend also, since I wouldn't be moving it around. So let me know if that sounds like fun, or if that's something where, if you're somebody who just watches the YouTube videos, and you're like, oh, I wish I could watch, but I can't watch on weekdays at 2. Just keep me posted. I might, um, I might stream other stuff if I don't get another kit, since I haven't picked one out yet. We may not, we may not be to that point. Cut the black heat shrink tube as shown. Oh, okay. So, we need two pieces of black heat shrink that are five millimeters long while we're waiting on this glue. Very short. Those are going to look be um, hinges, apparently. Okay. Shall we attempt it? Let's rest this up like that so that it's not sitting on the handle. Got a decent dollop of glue on there. Oh, so much string. Oh, it just wants to fall right over. Yikes. Oh, I just bent the other side. They don't necessarily match up. Yeah, one is bigger than the other. Okay. I could rest this upright and let that dry. Let's move on to something else while we're waiting on that to dry. Because that is way too fragile. I don't think I'm going to mess with it some more right now. Move that door out of the way. Don't lose these little heat sink pieces. Oh crap! It's shifting again. I have to keep an eye on that. Nope, keeps moving. Let's look at the timer. 28 minutes. Oh, 
Okay. I am going to set it <clears throat> up on something with the handles now, but still wanting to bend. I guess I just have to sit here and watch it. Well, now it's not bending down. It was just bending down from before. Okay. Please just stay. Okay. Next pieces. Wood pieces as shown one piece, which is F15. Keep an eye on that, which is this. I have to cut that triangle out of there, and then it's... That's it. Oh, I got... It. I'm going to have to fix some of the paint, though. It looks like white paint peeled off of that plastic sheet onto it. Oh, no. I wiggled the table. It weren't such a delicate piece that would be obvious if it were crooked. I have to friggin' babysit it. Okay, so this piece here, yellow and white wires as shown, which are in bag number five. Black heat shrink tube, which is right here. Black button, as shown, bag six. That's that piece. It's just like a little plastic, what is that plastic? Yeah, it's plastic, like a dome with a hole in the top. Silver white lampshade as shown. That must be this. LED. We only have one. There it is. Battery box from five. battery as shown, which I don't think they gave me any batteries. Hopefully I have enough. I have one here. Oh, I have two here. And I don't know if they work, so we'll have to look to see. Those I had from like the last kit I got, which I don't think they gave me batteries in that one either. They did in the first kit I bought. The Row Life kit had, not Row Life, Hands Craft kit had batteries in it. This one is Row Life. And 
Let's see. Yeah, and the other one was real life also. So the Handscraft one, nothing was missing. And the two real life ones I've gotten, stuff was missing or dried up. I don't know if that's like reflecting on the company or the seller or who, who knows. Battery as shown, screw as shown from six. How many of those do I need? Two? That's for the battery pack. So there's one and there's two. Paper cut N17 as shown. which is a cardboard piece that's these scissors So glad it's Friday. I've been farting it around at work. Um, I've taken all the tickets. There haven't been that many. Um, because everything I've tried to test has been broken. And I'm, so I'm just like not really doing anything. And hoping that no one's going to notice. <laughs> and uh, just doing like the bare minimum, minimum and making sure to take all the tickets so I can say at least I was doing that. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, like why everything is that I'm trying to test is broken, but. Yep. I'm trying to migrate a website. And we're making sure that stuff works in the environments, but stuff is not working. I hope we can make our deadline because that's a pain. I don't want to have to keep testing forever. There we go. to fold I guess oh this is gonna hold the battery pack I think oh that's cute the other kits I've done have just had like a slot underneath that it could fit into this is an actual little box thing I should have scored this That's better. That folds way easier. Okay. Let's at least glue the flap to the one side down. <coughs>
even need to glue this, that one flap. This flap here. That's where it's going to actually glue to the bottom. I need to tape this. Okay, so step one is cut off the light pin as shown, and they're saying five millimeters, but every time that I've done one of these, five millimeters is not actually what they wanted. And that's this guy here. Let's see if this battery works and if this light works. I don't know if that battery works. Well, that's not good. I kind of need the battery in order to continue because there's no reason to um, to do that if the light doesn't work itself. Then I'd have to get a new one. Okay, so the battery is, what does it say? I assume this is correct. The, these are CR2032s, which is what I've used before. Oh, does this pack say? DC. Yeah, it says it in here. CR2032. So I'm going to go dig around and see if I can find at least one more battery. So I'll be right back. Guess what I found? 2032s. Okay, let me cut one of these out of here. Ta-da! It works. Okay, so these two are dead. I need to get rid of those. And then let's cut out a second one because I'm going to need them both eventually anyway. Thank goodness. I don't even know if there's something else. I know like for garage door opener and um, the 
key fob for the like the car key fob they take something like one of these Okay, so that battery works, and that battery works, and the light works. Yay. Okay, so I need to cut this down, and they're saying five millimeters from the base of the light. It's not very long. Okay. I always have a hard time with this part. I'm just going to do what they say. And if it's not right, then fuck me. Okay. I still have some white and yellow wires from something else sitting here. But I will save that for in case of emergency. Let me move this out of the way. Oh, let's see what this door's doing. Yay, it only bent a little. Okay. So, take the yellow and the white, remove 12 millimeters of rubber wire off of both wires and wind them separately onto the light, noticing which one is which. Because like, if you look at, this is hard to tell. So they've, they've drawn over the top of the light bulb to make this little pattern in red to show you when it's facing this direction, positive, negative. And there is that on this ball, but it's kind of hard to see. See inside the silvery part. And the yellow is positive and the white is negative. And as far as, these are hard to strip. If you've watched me do other ones, you've heard me complain. So I managed to strip that one using my fingernail, which is terrifying because I end up breaking the wire sometimes. Okay, so now let's see if I can tell it's this direction. So if you can see the design on there, the thicker side is the negative, and that gets the white wire. So you just take the wire, and you can put the, the, the plastic part towards the base if you wanted and then just wrap the wire up around it and be careful not to bend it forward and back too much and that would snap it because then you'd have to possibly um, strip more plastic off and go do it again. I hate doing this stuff, but <laughs> if you want a little light up light in it, you have to do something. wrapped on there and the yellow side
Okay. Then, oh, okay, don't lose it. So then I'm going to strip on the other end also of each of these wires. Oh, I didn't strip very well on this side. It only took off a little bit. Oh. Don't know how much I need. Well, let's see if that works. And then you can test again. Um, there we go. So that works. I have it wired up correctly. Next. So it says, collect the, connect the electric wire with the lamp bead, wrap the exposed part on the lamp foot, test to ensure the light can work, note the anode and the cathode, which I, that, that's positive negative, but I don't know which is which. <clears throat> I assume, I don't know, I don't know which is which. <laughs> so then you're going to take your shrinky tube that you cut and lost. Oh no, that was shrinky tube for the other thing. <clears throat> that was shrinky tube for the door. In this piece, you need six millimeters. Just one millimeter more. There's those, and then you'll put them, put it up each one. So you'll put one on the white wire, and string it all the way up, and one on the yellow wire, and string that all the way up. And I'm going to need a candle in a minute, or a match or something. <clears throat> And then you just put the little pokey part of the, the lamp bead, or whatever you want to call it, you put it around there like that. And actually it's a little, either I didn't cut it short enough or something, but it's like, it's slightly sticking out. And I don't know if that's good or not. I can't see it. All right, well, you can see the glints of light of it sticking out from the bottom of this. All right, let's get my, here's the candle. And matchbook. Ooh, the Cincinnati Hotel. And it specifies to shrink them right now at this point. I guess I could double check and make sure that it's still working now that I've scooted things. And it still works. Okay, so now let's let's shrink them up a little. Don't burn your wire. I'm trying to be very careful. It's 
slowly shrinking. That's pretty good. Let's hope I don't need that again. I can light it again if I need it. Okay. Insert the heat. Insert and heat the tube to shrink. Oh, I need to shrink again. Cut the heat shrink tube and insert the wire, then heat the tube to shrink. That's one step. The next step is putting it through the silver lampshade and the black button, but it also says heat the tube to shrink. What? Do I use another tube? It doesn't say. Let me show you. <clears throat> so here's what I just did. Cut the heat shrink tube and insert the wire, then heat the tube to shrink. Now it says silver, white, lampshade, black button, insert and heat the tube to shrink. But it doesn't mention additional tube. So we'll see. Am I trying to melt the black button? Okay, so that goes like that. And this, and put one at a time through. Where did the 28 minutes go? Okay, give me a second. I'm going to say I'm back. Since I've been farting around anyway. Make sure, see whether or not I can continue this for a little bit. So give me a second. I think I can get by with at least a little bit more. Okie dokie. Can I? Ah. Let me open that on my phone so they can tell I looked at it. They sent an emote. Hmm. I still need to practice German for today. Okay, so this actually is not wanting to go up inside here. So I don't know if that's what they meant by... Um, heat the tube to shrink. But it's actually I'm needing to bend it in. Okay. Let's test it again. Oh, where's the camera? There we go. So far, so good. Um, wonder if they meant glue as shown. Because <laughs> this needs to get glued down on here. I'll bet you they put heat to shrink and they meant to put glue as shown. Because if you've been watching, you know I, that a lot of this stuff mostly just says glue as shown. And this stuff maybe 
getting loosely translated from Chinese, Japanese companies. I don't know where Road Life is. Robo Time is their company name. All right, let's do a glue as shown. This seems to be good. Okay. Then it's going to get glued on here and they have it they have it positioned like this. And they have the lamp right here. Okay, so they have it positioned like this. I don't know if the camera got moved. And the lamp right here. And then they have the wire going up like this and over. But they have the wire and the lamp on this side. And they also have this wire all twisted up. So let me let me take some time to do that for a second. Uh-oh, it's command glued. Let me twist it up and then test it again, make sure I didn't mess it up again. I think I need something to just hold this and then twist it like your braiding hair. I'm going to need to glue and tape and glue and tape, I have a feeling. Get the, the glue pad back. Okay, that's somewhat... I wonder if the double stick tape would work better. And if that would look bad. Okay, so... Maybe I should give that a try. I need to cut this thinner though, or fold it in half. this shorter first. Okay. 
Okay, now can I bend this in? Yeah. Making it as narrow as the, so there I put, I put this double stick tape on here. And then folded it to be as narrow as that, as that is. And then I'm going to put this on there and run this wire. I need more double stick tape, I think. Not just on here. But up here to get this from leaning. And they only have it actually going along this way for about 20. Okay, so I can cut that down a little. Check about here. Because I think it has to line up with that hole. And let's get some, some more tape up in here. itself. And let's see if we can get that. Yeah, this works pretty well. All right, and now let's double check that it's still working wrong way this way this way and it's still working yay <clears throat> all right i'm gonna have to wrestle that a little longer to get that to sit correctly but yeah so that's better let's bring this over Oh wait, that's not it yet. We're not to this point. We're still working on this. So, next step. Drill. They want me to drill through this, but I'm going to... Uh, I don't know what. <laughs> what do I have? Don't know about a drill. I mean, I'm sure I have a drill somewhere, but I don't feel like dealing with a drill. I'm actually cramming a safety pin. This must have gotten moved. If I can at least get some holes to be able to, why didn't they have me cut something before I put it in? Nope, no idea. I might need to get a drill.
That worked. Cutting off the extra cardboard that's sticking up. Okay, so it can be done <laughs> if you wrestle it. And let's peel off some of this tape. This looks like it's it's all it's glued okay. Be careful on the cardboard part. I made it. I roughed it up there. did not do, pass the wires of the light in the roof through the hole. So, so if I look at this, this, this part comes out the front, so it's going to go this way. Is it supposed to sit up on top? No, it's supposed to come down into in between everything, which it doesn't actually want to do. So we'll see. Um, let's pass the wires through. Is this showing? No, stuff's in the way. Passing the wires through. Oh, this got pulled off of here. Let's see if I can get this to sit in here at all. Oh without popping everything apart. Okay, I'm going to need to glue it still, but huh, that's pretty good. So, can you see down in there? Yeah, the wires go into that hole. It's nice. Okay, I will still need to glue that. need to pop stuff into like I need to put stuff in here but I may as well right surely surely oh, that came off again okay
I can touch up the paint while it's in place. supposed to be like that. And then ugh, miss. There we go. Maybe get some tape. I have to pull that wire through better. Let me check that real quick. I didn't even hear it. Okay. Let's check the wiring again. Can you tell I'm paranoid about it? Which side? There we go. You see it lighten up? Yay, it still works. Okay. Don't lose your batteries, Katie. Put them over here. Okie doke. So, these guys uh, put in the cells. That's the batteries. The positive side is the flat side that says all the information and it tells you in there which one goes which way in theory. So, that goes like that and then there's two holes for the screws I think we have screwdrivers made for this somewhere but I'm always too lazy to go find them and I end up using my tweezers so if you have some thin tweezers those tend to work well enough to get the uh, the screws to turn Usually, now that I'm saying that it's not working. Okay, come on. This one started to turn, but it's on an angle.
Oh my god, Lily, you are snoring so loud. Liara. She's out. Okay, so there's that. Now let's test again with this because there's a little bit of wire hanging out. Okay, let's try that one there and this one there. Turn it on. No, nope. try the other way around. This one on red and this one on white. Okay. That's off. Let's try it again. Which one's which? Yellow. I don't know which one is which. I'm just going to keep trying one way and the other way. Nothing. Okay. One way and the other way. Nothing. Well, what happened? I don't know if it's like the little battery box doesn't work because it was working with a single battery. Hang Okay, I think we'll have to wrestle this later. I have to do some stuff with work. So thanks for watching. And um, I guess if there's a way to comment, let me know if you want to watch a stream this weekend. But um, unless I hear something, I'm Dubucat on Twitter. Thanks, bye.